Let's bring Rick up here, our, our next city councilman. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> but I'm not going to cheat with the, probably the first two topics I want to talk about. And that is about two and a half weeks ago, I called about 22 people. And those 22 people are my grassroots people. So I need them to come forward. Everyone that we had a meeting with, grassroots, come on, Debbie Gonzalez, Cynthia, Vicki McCarthy, come on, Capitano, Joe Capitano, Mark Bentley, David Caldevia, <clears throat> Judd Cook. We've got a we've got a we've got a ton of them, okay? These people these people here are my friends. And you're my friends also. And today was be, was able to be successful as a result of my friends pulling together their resources and having faith and confidence in me that I can do the right job every time and to be a good city council person. So just on, on my behalf, I want to thank you for your efforts that you have done for me today. So I, I just want to thank you very much. Success is driven, at least for me, is by my family values. And with, without my family, I'm no one. So I've got my, my lovely wife, which she is my mentor, that I'd like to introduce to you. You know, you hear the story, you hear the stories that, you know, it's like, a, or at least, at least with me, it's like, if I'm away at a hotel, it's like, you toss and you turn, I don't think that I sleep because my wife is not beside my side, and uh, she's just she's just my light. Gonna make me cry. <laughs> she's just. And I've got two beautiful children, Hunter and Brianna. Woo woo woo! woo. Yay. And Hunter's coming. When you think as when you when you think when you have children. And they're just babies, and they say, "Well, those are the best years of my life, of their lives." You know, is when they're when they're infants. Every year and every day that comes forward are better days for me as a parent. And I learn from my children. And so, I want to. I just want to introduce my family to you, is because they're they're part of me, and part of the package that comes with this is my family. So I just wanted to take the opportunity. Now's when I now's when I cheat. <laughs> oh, my brother. <laughs> wow. He's my he's my favorite brother that lives in Tampa. I do have one in Georgia. <laughs> you know, I sat down and I have written I have written this probably about fifty times, and that's why I don't have it memorized. But I guess I wanted to start off as what's the definition of a city council person? Well, we all have a definition, but I think that we're all looking for someone that has a future for the 10 years from now, and someone that is not forgetting the key issues that are important to us, like panhandlers. Uh, having someone that has the understanding of a more modern transportation system and that doesn't hurt your pocket. And we also need to remember our neighborhoods that are safe and ensuring quality growth. Since I've been self-employed as a small business, one of the key points of interest and it's just probably out of everyone here, is to develop Tampa as a business-friendly atmosphere, where Tampa is a destination for businesses and families to grow together. Developing partnerships are the key, are key to Tampa's growth and sustainability. The ability to use our current resources that we currently have will better our city and it's essential for its growth. About 25 years ago, I worked for a company called Parkside of Florida. That company dealt with a company called DuPont. And it's probably right around that time, that about 25 years ago, I approached my, I approached my senior management and I said, you know, I think, I think I want to put Corey in because I was repping Corey in. I want to put Corey in in Home Depot. And the senior management said, you're out of your mind. And I said, well, would you just give me the opportunity to develop that relationship? 24 years later, or after one year, 
we're now 24 years, DuPont and Home Depot have got a relationship and they have got core in. That's a result of my efforts and that's what I would consider building relationships and building partnerships that are not for today but for tomorrow and the future. Uh, I have got about 20 years of self-employed experience balancing the budget and signing the check on two sides. I do it every week. Uh, when I'm elected, I and my family are aware of the sacrifices and the challenges that I will face. When, when I'm elected, I can be immediately effective. Five years ago, I was appointed by Pam Oreo to the Code Enforcement Board, and currently, my peers, and some of them are here today, selected me to be chairman of that board. And some of the questions is, well, how, how are you going to be effective? And, you know, there's a good friend of mine, Charlie, here, and he's a city council person, and he's going to tell you that probably one of the, one of the ways you become effective is by asking questions. Because asking questions does not hurt. It opens people's eyes. And so that's one of the probably key elements that I learned on sitting on that board is to continuously ask questions. So when, so when, I, when that person leaves on that podium, I've got a clear, concise, crystal decision on what they have said and what they're doing. I'm a think out of the box person. I think of solutions. I'm also open-minded and, and I know what it is to have a partnership. My partnership with my, with my wife, my bride for 20 years in business. And, you know, there's just every day. Every day passes and I still come to work and I don't say, it's like, oh my God, my office is next to hers. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, under, I, under, I understand there are, six, there are six other members that are going to be on that board when I'm elected. And... Being the rebel is not going to get is not going to get you anywhere. What's going to get you What's going to get you somewhere and get and going to get results is going to be being a team player. I can tell you from my heart that I'm a champion and I love our city and I'm going to be your best city council person when you elect me in March first. So thank you. And you know, just you know just just thanks because I'm just. I'm just thankful for everyone that's here. It, the next step from here is our grassroots is going to grow. And I'm going to reach out to you. And I'm going to ask you to do things for me. And it may be, you know, like Tom Colley. He's in charge, he's in charge of, our, of our sign waving. Tom. 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 <laughs> he's in charge of our sign wave, waving citywide. And we're going to have some captains for all of, all the particular districts. So I'm going to reach out to you and I'm going to ask you for your help. And whether maybe you can't walk and walk and walk around and do neighborhoods, but if you can talk on the phone, I will have a phone list for you so that you can reach out. So there's a little something for everyone. I just I just wanted to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for being here today. You have made my day. Thank you very much.